Hey everyone, Rock DIY here. I'm going to cover the Eufy security camera, and in this case, it is a wire free 2K add on camera. And once you charge this, you can put it up and leave it for a year without having to recharge it. Unfortunately, you will have to recharge it at some point, which means you have to take it down because this is a battery operated camera so once you charge it you charge it for 12 hours after 12 hours of charge it'll last for a year but as with a lot of things it may not last 365 days or a year you might have to pay attention to it to ensure that it hasn't died prior to that this is a eufy cam 2 pro it does have a charging port on it you can charge it through a eufy base or you can charge it with a traditional plug into the wall as i said this is a eufy cam 2 pro but it's also known as a t8140 camera uh, that would be the model number unfortunately when you do put this camera or install this camera where you want it uh, you can't keep it plugged in because it does not come with a cable that you can run to an outlet here are the contents of the box you have the Eufy Cam 2 Pro camera. You have a USB-A to a USB Mini B connector. You've got anchors and screws. There's four of each. You have a mounting bracket. You also have another mounting bracket and this one is specifically for indoors. But I don't see any reason that you wouldn't be able to use it outdoors as well. If you decide to use this bracket, then you would use this uh, plastic piece that's included. And then the last thing is you have your little mounting guide stickers here. It's important to note that this is an add-on camera. Uh, you can't operate this camera by itself. You would already have a base for a system or you would have to purchase a base to operate this camera. And you would use the base, the camera, and the Eufy app that you can download onto your phone. On the very top back of the camera, you have your sync button right here. And then on the front, just be aware that there is a protective cover here that you do want to remove. What is right here is a photo sensitive sensor. Then on this side, you, well in the center, you have the camera lens itself. And then over here, you have the LED indicator. Here you have the microphone. And then down here is the motion sensor. This whole area is the motion sensor. If you flip it over, this is the speaker here, and on the bottom here, it'll tell you what type of camera it is, the model, which I've already mentioned, which is a T8140, and there is also a serial number on here as well. On the very back, you have a port for charging, which involves using this cable, which has the mini USB-B connector. You would plug it in there and you can plug this end into your base or you can plug it into a uh, block plug that you would put in the wall to charge it. And then here you have where you would put your mount on. So in this case if you were using this mount you would screw this on to here and then loosen the collar, position it where you want, and then you would tighten this collar right here to lock it into place. Now I'll go over that a little bit more in detail in a minute. You do want to make sure that this little plug right here, when it's not in use, is fully seated. This is the what they call the indoor mount. If you do use this, this is magnetized, so when you go to put it on, it's going to grab it, and it'll stay where it's supposed to stay. You can adjust it to where you want it, and it holds pretty good. 
just be aware that as soon as you get close to it, it's going to grab it. This portion is not uh, magnetized. It's the, the back here that is magnetized. This plastic piece right here, you would put one of these screws through it into the wall or wherever you decide to put it. This side would go against the wall and then you would take this side and slide it on and then take your camera and put it on. So it would go just like that. Because I don't have this on a wall, it's just gonna fall inside the mount. These are probably difficult to see, but there is a cutout sticker with a hole in the center and then you got another cutout circle with two uh, holes here. So this one would be used to place this one. And all it's going to do is you stick the sticker on the wall, put this where the hole lines up, and then you can put the, the bracket or the mount on. And then for this one, what you have to do, this has multiple pieces. And what you're going to do is, if you can see the hole there and the hole there, you will also see two large holes here. And what you're gonna do is line those up there. You can put the sticker in place, pre-drill some holes, and then take the sticker off, or you can leave the sticker there. Most people will probably remove the sticker, but at least you know where to put your holes, and then remove the sticker, put this back in place, and then put your screws in to hold it in place. Something you do have to be aware of is with this piece, there are two little nubs right here, and those need to go into these holes here on the base of the mount. And then when you put this on, you want to hold this uh, portion of it, the swivel, the ball portion of it, put it on. as you tighten it down and then once you know it's somewhat in place and you can still move it around uh, the big thing is making sure that piece is locked in and you can tell whether it's locked in right here you'll see that it's in these holes here and then you can put it on the camera position it where you want it once you get it where you want it then you just lock down the collar and the camera will stay where you position it it is not mentioned in this uh, quick start guide if you want to find more information out about this camera you can go on the eufy website but one thing that is not mentioned in the quick start guide is what you can do is, in this case, this camera does not have a solar panel. Uh, there is a camera that has a solar panel on the top and charges the batteries. This one does have batteries, but no solar panel. But what you can do is there is a UFI solar panel that works with this camera. So you can plug the solar panel into the mini USB-B port here position the solar panel where you want it and you can go beyond these 365 days charging because the solar panel would always be charging this camera and I mean you could use this camera by itself but just keep in mind that you would have to take it down around a year mark to fully charge it and then put it back up if you don't want to have to get up there every year to take the camera down to charge it. You could position the camera, buy a solar panel, connect the solar panel, and the solar panel will keep the batteries charged all, all year round. So pretty much the batteries will be at 100% depending on how much uh, live streaming you're doing or how much recording that you're doing. Uh, because sometimes you can use the batteries faster than 
the solar panel can charge the batteries. If you decide to get a solar panel, what you do have to do in the Eufy app is change it from battery to solar panel. The solar panel itself will not power the camera, but the solar panel will charge the batteries which power the camera. And so just keep that in mind when you're using it. So for instance, if the batteries are completely dead and you hook up a solar panel, the solar panel will not power this camera enough for it to record and run. There would have to be some battery power in the battery pack that's inside of it. And this is a pretty uh, heavy camera, mainly because of the batteries in it. Here is the solar panel that I mentioned, and it's the same brand, very easy setup. The solar panel connects to the back of the camera. The beauty of using this camera in conjunction with the solar panel is you may have a spot where there is no sun on a specific area of your property, your house, or your business. You can place the camera around the corner and the solar panel has a 13 foot cable. So you can run the cable around a corner so that it gets uh, the full power of the sun you know that's a nice benefit of having this solar panel and then because you have the solar panel you never have to get up and take the camera down to charge it because the solar panel will be charging it all the time you don't get a uv cam 2 pro and you decide to get a different camera the one thing you want to do if you decide that you want to get a solar panel is make sure you look at the box to ensure that the solar panel will work with or is compatible with your camera and in this case this solar panel is compatible with the Eufy Cam 1 and 2 and 2 Pro, Eufy Cam 2C and 2C Pro and Eufy Cam E. So this camera right here is a Eufy Cam 2 Pro so I can use this solar panel with the camera. I mentioned compatibility uh, because you may assume that the solar panel will work with any of the Eufy Cam cameras. There are quite a few cameras and uh, you'll quickly find out that this solar panel, specifically this solar panel, does not work with all the cameras. So in order to get the solar panel to operate, you would plug your mini USB B cable into the back of the camera and you can place your camera and place your solar panel where you want it uh, but prior to doing that what you do want to do is go on to the Eufy app or download the Eufy app onto your phone which will allow you to operate this but just keep in mind that these are not the only two components that are needed. You would also need the Eufy base uh, if you don't already have one. Uh, otherwise this will not function properly. You can't just use these two. Use the app. It will not work properly. You have to have the uh, Eufy base. Here is how you know the camera is charging. And when you first plug it in, and I have it plugged into a wall outlet right now. It'll flash a couple times and then it'll stay solid. Once it's charged, then this blue LED light will go away. All right, so here we go. We're going to hook up a new camera. So we're gonna to go to the Eufy security app here at the bottom of the screen. Right here where it says my device is at the top left, go over to the plus sign to the right. And what we're going to do is set up the UV cam to 2 Pro. Go to next and then it says the camera must be within one meter of the home base. So I'm going to do that. I have found that it doesn't necessarily always need to be that close but for this purpose I've put it within one meter. I'm gonna go push the sync button on the camera for two seconds until I hear the beep. All right, I pushed the button, heard the beep, pressing next. 
the camera just said ready to add device. Let's see what I want to name this. I'm just going to name it garage. Next. And it's added. Click next. And then it asks you if you want to set up for optimal battery life, optimal surveillance, or customized recording. I'm going to leave it for optimal battery life right now. And right in here, it's telling me that uh, you need to fully charge the battery before mounting it. And it says here eight hours. In the manual, it says 12. It actually took less than eight hours. And what I did was use the normal charging mode here at the bottom versus uh, plugging into the back of the Eufy base station. So that's already been done prior to doing this. It says make sure the micro USB port is covered. It is. It's going to suggest mounting options. It says my Wi-Fi signal strength is great, but this is not where the camera is going to go. It's going to be moved elsewhere. And now I'm going to finish. All right, the camera is labeled as garage. I'm going to go to the three little dots, press the cog wheel, and then if you look where it says power manager, then go to power source. You have two options, battery, external solar panel. In this case, this camera will be using an external solar panel to charge the battery. Even though the battery will last, up to 365 days I want to ensure that this camera stays charged consistently so I'm going to change it to external solar panel I'm going to confirm it it's going to tell me that the LEDs will not stay lit while it is connected to the solar panel got it and then you'll see up here at the top of the screen you'll see a solar panel with the Sun at the top and then you'll also see the battery meter and right now it is fully charged at 100% if it wasn't 100% you would see the little bars on the battery uh, moving back and forth if I change the power source back to battery you will see that the solar panel up at the top left goes away and you only see the battery if I just take this camera put it up and leave it there over time the battery will reduce so either I have to take it down and recharge it or I can hook a solar panel up to it and constantly keep it charged. There aren't many differences between this camera and the S330 camera that I covered in depth. I also covered the 2K pan and tilt camera which is an indoor camera. Covered those settings as well so you can look at either one of those videos to uh, get an idea of how all these settings work. And that is it.